Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your three lords in the domain. Now, we have two rewards to collect, we did not get additional uh, other things. Platinum, yeah, okay, that, that's good. <gasps> Can we do anything with our car? That's always an important question, because apparently that's something that's recommended to be done at all possible opportunities. We can do this. Advanced detection systems. Cool. No idea what to do. And everything else requires element zeros and stuff like that. That's fine. Okay, research. Let's look at our Milky Way armor. Can I upgrade this to five yet? No, not allowed. Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. Right, to the bridge. We're held out. Out of this system. And into the next. Let's go take a peek. That's... Anomaly detected. What did you find? Deploying probe. Getting a scan. Shuttle spotted. Drifting. It sustained catastrophic electrical damage. Is this from Habit 7? Don't get too close to the... Just keep an eye out, okay? That's the research vessel Dr. Aridana informed us of. There are no life readings within. She'll want to know. Oh well. Might have it at seven. Can we take another look at you? Show me what you got. What are you hiding? I'm picking up something. Um, I think we already rotated the entire way around the planet now. Probe away. Satellite detected. Ooh. That's nice. Anything else? No. Okay, let's check Vinland. And uh, then I should go back to EOS's atmosphere actually because I completely forgot that we have the architect to scan. That's always well fun. Anomaly detected. All right, show me what you've got. What are you hiding from me? Probe away. We've got a crater. Right. Cool. Not sure how much of an anomaly a crater is, but okay. It's plenty on Earth. Let's go check out Helleland. Okay, Happy the Seven is one that is probably really, really not the most useful planet for us right now. Do we know there was lush life hiding beneath? I'm picking up something. You could show me. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Take it. For a huge deposit, that's only 56, but okay. Whatever you say. And then we have Markland, which seems to be the final destination in this system. So let's grab it. 
Right, dab, skip, that's helpful. Nothing wrong with flying, it's just it does take a while. Cluster map, let's return to Pythias 4, just Pythias. Just a moment, I have I have reason to go there. There's an anomaly. There should be an anomaly around the EOS. I believe. Tracking a remnant architect. Cool. Got the data. Nifty. Right, and Faitha is apparently the next one on the list for being researched. Now, do I want to go to Aya or Havar next? I think I will stop by Havar. This is about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before, well... Let's see what's waiting here. All right. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Let's go take a look. Please don't lick this rock. I should do what you want. Now that one I can believe is huge. That was nearly three times as big as the other deposit that you claimed was huge. Okay, uh, let's go to Korvath. Let's not fly right into the black hole. That's probably a bad idea. I'm grateful for the option, but um, I'm gonna leave that for last. Okay. I didn't really read anything about the planet today. Now I'm just coming around like, is there anything good there? Blue skies and no seas. Even the Grogans didn't want to live there. Cool. Probably shouldn't try it either then. It looks to have about as good weather as Habitat 7 did. Oh, now we get an anomaly, do we? No. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, so the planet is highly toxic <laughs> to most known life forms. Uh, Rare's helium rich atmosphere appears to host enormous colonies of fungal spores. Cool. It does look nice visually. Guess it's just not that. Good to try and settle for. This gas giant. This outlying world is comprised of iron and frozen nitrogen. One other that stands out, certain geological features suggest nitrogen and seas were once liquid. That's cool. Literally. Because liquid nitrogen is not a warm material. Hell, it's far from it. Okay, extreme radioactivity and high velocity winds make H479 a pool candidate for mining despite its rich metal deposits. A potential candidate for future endeavors. Cool, let's fly into the black hole now. At this one I want to watch. Just so we can watch ourselves dive towards the black hole. To the very event horizon of it. You're probably not going to the event horizon, that, that would probably be madness. 
Even at this distance, the black hole presents a risk to onboard ship systems. The creation disk around it is composed of the system remains of at least one solar system destroyed by the black hole's formation and gravitational pull. Caution is advised. That's fine. I think we got an achievement for it there. Alright, so I said Havar next. Well, I'm gonna stop by Gerada first. And then our, our way back from Gerada, we'll stop by Havar. That sounds like a plan. A lonely system. It's almost lost in the scourge. What else can be lost out there? Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Detecting what's left of a ship. Okay, what size of a ship? Please tell me you are not an ark. We don't want to find a dead ark. Fragments of a wrecked remnant vessel drift deep within the scourge. It is impossible to determine whether the ship was fully automated or designed for a crew. It's a good thing we got some Asari communication systems from it. Even the, even the remnant knew where the real good stuff came from. That was their sorry. Ooh. This cold, heavy gravity world was once inhabited by primitive but intelligent species. Based on preliminary scans of their villages, they may have gone extinct shortly after the scourge appeared in the sky. So how viable is this planet? HO 97's orbit around Chirader is gradually decaying. As it grows closer to its home star over the next million years, it may begin warming considerably. I'm sure that's fine. Okay, Semra Head. What we want to find is more habitable planets, I think. Because why I see no problem with uh, making friends with the Argarans, we should probably not try and make a foothold on every one of their planets. The effects of the Scourge and Gerada's worlds are obvious on Semharit. From the Milky Way, the now barren planet appeared to be drowning in liquid water. Clearly much has changed. Okay. That's not the best. Detected. Show me. Ooh. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. This massive storm is throwing enormous quantities of helium free to the upper regions of the gas giant. Available fine if it can be mined. Well, good to know. The kind of only gas giant's single large satellite appears to be the parent planet Chaharan. Torn from its previous object by scourge effects. That's interesting. Alright, we have finished looking at your radar. Let's go look at Farmer. <laughs> Out of this marble and into the next. The most planets aren't actually marbles, they are actually planet sized, I believe. Uh -huh. Anomaly on sensors. What are we sensing? Deploying probe. I found something. Let's take a look at the comet then. Mm. 
Show me that taunt star. Ooh. This comet is rich in the empirically useful in nephrite, although other elements have complicated the exploration. Very bright, but the second orbit is unlikely. Best to mine it for other purposes. Okay. Let's grab our platinum. That was nice. Okay, let's go look at this one. From the comet to this. I'm picking Move. up something. Sulfur, iron, and plutonium compose the bulk of Chilfayan's surface. Its powerful storms shift in magnitude as it orbits around the gas giant Chednoya. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Yeah, grab that graphite. Once again, when you say huge, I expected over a hundred, not fifty-three. Awesome. Let's go stop by Bospar next. And then from Bospa, we shall head over to ha Havar. Was it? Yes. Bospar. The immense and fiery Bospar is described in certain and current texts as the guardian of fire rank, protective of circling the bright star until the day both cool. Cool. And fire? Ooh. I'm picking up something. Farms, carbon dioxide, and argon atmosphere is inhospita inhospitable to most life. As are ocean temperatures, which in sunlight during the proper season can reach the boiling point. Ah, oh, but it looks so pretty. Driving on farm where little else can massive fungal forest stretch kilometers in the moist and hot air. Alright, grab the samples of that. Cool. And off to Havar. Where I will expect to find many treasures. Like scientists and Turin Ox and recovering the past and Shalama Darav, friend or foe. Yes. Alright, so our wait capacity has increased increased considerably disciple for crusader for let's bring the crusader along as well Wait, no i did the wrong thing i want the crusader and i want to equip the crusader With some abilities, I guess. Oh. Okay, so we put the calibrated receiver on it already. Again, what are you using? Uh, spare clip. Oh, and the shotgun barrel is the one that just gives pure extra damage. Okay, but I can carry two shotguns now. Could I also carry a fourth? Just barely. But, I mean, a third. But uh, let's not do that. I'll equip that. Do you want to bring a pistol, maybe? The M25 Hornet. Or the Roserat 4. I see no reason why this will be used above this one. Sure, we can... We can bring a pistol. Where is it? Was it the Rosalind 4? No, 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 it was the other one. The Hornet. Yeah, we have three guns now. Sending the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. So essentially, what we have accomplished with this is the fact that it I can run out of ammo with less trouble. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for 
a safe approach. And I can put some points into pistol usage once. Uh... On the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think is. Are these the same creatures we saw on Habitat 7, or just similar? Just similar. Well, that's something you don't see back home. Because the game is running at 80 FPS, so they just have janky movement. This it felt janky to me. Or did I want to go to Aya? I don't remember. But we are on Havar. So that's where we are. Right, well, looking at the map, we are starting off in a settlement. There's a lot of levels to this map. The majority of which I can't really see. Remnant Abyss, Mifrava, Upper Mifrava at Sand, Mifrava Sand. The Forgotten Depths, Buried Cave, and Planet Surface. So the Planet Surface... Looks to be a little bit... I thought I was beautiful. This blows it away. It is beautiful. But the wilds can also be deadly. Did you have an option to grab a car? Or is the surface area on this planet a lot smaller than I was expecting? Hi! This is this is some lush shit. Activating automated forward station deployment. Are we just plopping one right in the middle of town. Alright. Habitat 3 matches initiative uh, pre flight profiles within acceptable per parameters of variance. Okay, so this was Habitat 3. And the Nomad cannot be called in here. I think this planet is just uh, small enough for the Nomad to be less. None of these readings show any change. How could there not be a change? Hey, how are you doing? Jar, we heard about the Moshai's rescue. I'm so relieved. We were all worried for her. This must be the Pathfinder Rider. I am honored. Where's the rest of the team? Rider has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. Are they still alive? Vitals remain steady and neural patterns resemble those exhibited in deep sleep. We subjected them to various stimuli, injections of Kachari, nothing worked. Ryder can help. I'm sure of it. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis and it may happen again. Okay, thanks for that information, but can we talk to you now? Like, can we have a casual conversation? Pathfinder Rider. Jal said you worked for the Moshai? Not I, but many of the team that was sent to the Monolith are her students. If we can't save her people, I don't think I could ever face her again. We'll find a way to help them, Kiran. I promise. Tell me more about the stasis that's taken out your team. We don't know what started it, and it's the first time any of us have heard of something like this happening. The team sent out there studied monoliths before, 
At least half of them worked with Moshai Sefer. They were just doing their job when the stasis hit. Now it's like they're frozen in time. Nothing will wake them. Stimulants, loud noises. They show no reaction to sensation or pain. I should get going. Stars be bright for you, Pathfinder Rider. Thank you. What's the state of that? Translated from Shalesh, an incredible find out in the field last week is shuttled from before the skirt surfaced down in the ravine. From afar it looks like the crash site is remarkably preserved, especially to have withstood Havar's elements. I know Kiran asked me with studying the monolith, and, but maybe I could make my way down there and check it out. Just a peek to see if there's anything for Ravella. Okay, that sounds possible. Hey. I heard the advisory that you'd be out here. You didn't prepare me to meet you. The name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. They say you want to help us. I wonder what you're prepared to do. I'm ready to prove my people are good allies. A strong statement that doesn't answer my question. My name is Rochelle Veer. I'm an archaeoastronomer. I study our ancient cultural records for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost knowledge of ages past. My goal is to find undiscovered colonies we lost contact with, potential allies against the Ket. You think there might be Angara worlds you don't know about? That's what I was trying to learn. Then this happened. I was away when the disaster struck. I thought my home was destroyed, and all my research with it, but I just learned part of the building survived. I'm trying to recover my research data, but the wildlife won't let me near my old home. These house guests, I assume they're of the hungry variety? The structure has become a breeding ground for insects and predators. Too many to face alone. Your work is too important to lose. Let's get it back. I'll provide my home's location. Just recover my research materials from the computer. I'll remain in contact with you by com. Thank you for this. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Pavo, Kiran, good to hear that the Kit haven't reached your research post. We're not so lucky here. They are practically swarming the old temples, trying to dismantle the remnant text. We're trying to fight them off, but even with the resistance reinforcement, there are just too many of them. Commander called to retreat. I know you have had your eyes on those temples, but there's nothing we can do, we're closing the area down, no one goes in, and nothing comes out, be careful Kieran, it's a tough world out there. Lou, thank you so much for bringing this to my attention, a crash site that well preserved, I'd give anything to see it, if, I'll see if I can find someone capable to check it out, it'll probably be well protected, and please make sure Torvald doesn't hear about it, I know he'll want to take a look himself, and he's not equipped. Equipped to deal with the danger involved. I'd never forgive myself if he got injured trying to help. Stay safe over there. Wishing you sun sky, Savella. Kieran, I'm sure you heard about the attack at Site 7. The loss of Dr. Vershav was a blow to the entire science community, and now many of Site 7's researchers are displaced and in need of a new post. Most will head to Aya for recovery, but some want to continue working here on Ahaval. I recommend that your camp a suitable decision point. I know resources are thin, but your site is the only one the get have ignored. I don't want to put these people in danger so soon as they witness the death of their superior. And I'm sure you could use the help on your monolith project. Think it over and give me your response tomorrow. Stay safe, Mandal. Kieran, you're safe, right? I heard to get attacked the old city again. I know you're on the other side of the planet, but that's still too close. Between the wildlife and the remnant, Haval is a dangerous place. Marley and the star worry about you. I worry about you. Your work is important, I understand that, but promise your old mother that if the resistance tells you to evacuate, you listen. None of this knowledge is worth the risk, nonsense. I met too many of your broken bones when you were young. It's time you gave me a break. This is your mother, who misses you. Rochelle, I have attached the data gathered from our efforts on AI to map the scourge. We found a few irregularities during our research, dust mostly, but you may want to look into it. If the material isn't a match for any worlds in Helios, it would support the theory on colony worlds. This is all speculation, of course. You'll need to send someone out there to collect samples, but I figured it's worth a shot. If you're going to solve the mystery of our past, we need to work together. Stars guide you. Matika? Was it? I sort of closed it before I actually read the name. I should have done that. That's sort of rude of myself to myself. Okay, 
I established in the shadow of Remnant buildings, Pervola was a center of trade and learning. Anyone who wished to observe work in Remnant monoliths was directed here. Deep within the tunnels of Remnant ruins, you would hear the hum of mysterious machines, the purpose unknown. Too dramatic, this is a history book, not a thriller. No, the self mentioned that the entire tower was overtaken by the jungle, with the only thing still standing being a small restored used area the, it's used as research outpost. Also mentioned the remnant areas we are still told to avoid. Nova Sabai by Davam for an Alan. What? Is everything alright? You seem distressed. Oh, uh, would you like a reward for that astute observation? <sighs> You're that alien visitor that came to Aya asking about our vault. You've heard of me. Who hasn't? When strange new species turn up, reports spread fast. After the Ket, can't be too careful. Luge Anson, historian with the repository of history, Aya. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? I'm busy trying to get transport off this cursed planet. Why did you come here from Aya? Kieran's team found some remnant relics while digging around the old ruins. I was sent to collect them for the repository. It shouldn't have taken more than a day. But things never go according to schedule, do they? You mentioned remnant ruins. Are there lots of remnant here? Yes. If you'd been out in the jungle, you might have seen some of it. We think the ruins were part of a vast remnant complex. We've seen evidence of hallways that wound through the area, both above and below the ground. Generations ago, our people took shelter in what we found here. That's how Panef was established. Were there no hostile remnant machines? None, according to the histories. We found artifacts, of course. Bits of things that we could study. But they say it was like moving into an empty home. You don't seem to like Havarl very much. Havarl's other regions suit me just fine, but here... Oh no, I don't do well in this fierce wilderness. <clears throat> you think these shelters keep you safe? They don't. Woke up this morning and found a thorny vine wormed its way into my bunk. I'm stranded here because a branch pierced my shuttle's power core. I won't bother you further. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. If you want, we could give you a lift to Aya the next time when we leave, because we can there next. I think. It does seem like the sort of service we could offer. Is this the one? I want to see the branch. Was the branch already removed? Or is this a different shuttle? Right, so. Recover data. Find Taldir. Scan minerals. Collect plant samples. Collect plant samples. Look at the ancient crash site. Find the Turian camp and search for memory triggers. Search on... Search on a wall. Oh, right, for crafting. For the beer. And then there's another thing over there that I can't quite see right now. But, I think I'll call it here for now and I'll see you all next time. When we will continue our adventure on a wall. Looks like a pretty nice place thus far. Yeah, bye bye.